This game is entirely fictitious and is meant for mature audiences only. This game includes extreme- Oh god. Any med- Any procedures that you see, YouTube, these are all medical procedures. You should not think this is real, okay? Better wait for this to go away. Come on then, mate. Disappear off. Trying to play a flash game here and you're getting in my way, thank you. I'm not having you in my game the whole time I play. Go away. Go. Shoo. Piss off. I don't want you here. No one wants you here. You've got no friends. Why do you pop up every time I go into a full screen game? You're fucking useless. Go away. Fuck off. Welcome to the central computer. You've been uplinked to provide real time surgeries to real people. Our current mission is to restore your gene line. Oh shit, that's pretty extreme. Many of your relatives were killed in combat. Oh no! Your interface will guide you and help you bring them back. Yay! Good luck, human. Oh, thank you, computer. Much appreciated. Big kisses. How how long is this game exactly? I don't I don't know. I guess I just Oh my god, okay. Whoa, okay. I guess I'm doing scan and find missing bone fragments. Uh, here. Clean the area. What the fuck is going on right now? Oh my god. Peel it away. Peel it away. Oh, that must be so painful. There you go. Clean up. Oh, I'm blind. I'm stick on that. Oh, hang on. Let me just click this at eight button. Oh, shut up. It's not that bad. Stop being a pansy. Okay, let me sedate him. Let me sedate him once again. Oh, there you go, mate. Okay, stick his finger back on. Look at that. Iron that on. Look at that. Just iron that on. Your finger is basically the same way it was. Surgery completed! Yay! John Martin went on to survive the First World War. He was awarded the Purple Heart and was granted a period to revisit his two daughters and wife. Hell yeah, dude. How does this power feel? You now have the ability to bring people back to life. What life would they live? Who will they love? If not for each other, this wouldn't be possible. We both want to do great things and remake history again. Good luck, human. Oh, thank you, computer. Are you making me bring back Hitler? Oh, of course you'd, of course you'd avoid my question. Nurse has lost leg due to grenade. Oh. Well, maybe she shouldn't have stood right next to it. Oh no! Oh no, what am I gonna do? Uplink the patient. I, you're being uplinked, mate. Let me just clean this leg up for you. Swap, snap the foot quickly into place. Ah, uh, I'm snapping it. Oh god, that must have been painful. Hang on, let me sedate you real quick. <laughs> into the, into the ground. <laughs> Put you in there. Oh, look at that car. So that's perfectly fine. Let me just clean that up here. Snap, move leg back into position. Oh, good. There you go. Hang on, let me just sedate you real quick into the fucking ground. Do that for you. Uh, then I need to sew your leg back up. Oh wow, it's been it's done. Linda Rosfeld managed to survive the trench experience. Although experiencing many post-traumatic syndromes and permanent leg injuries, she managed to recover enough to enjoy the best life has to offer. Amazing, isn't it? Um, the very lives you say may be the unfolding of others. Did you ever stop and think about who you're saving? I did say, I think you're gonna make me save Hitler at some point. One of these survivors go and kill others now. Looks like more than one gene line is getting augmented. Good luck, human. Well, at that point, I'd tell you I'd fuck you right off. I'm gonna be honest with you, mate. A soldier writes his final words. What? Uplink the patient. Well, first, let me sedate the man. Let me just give him this. Okay. Slowly and carefully pull the pipe out. Oh, I'm pulling it the other way. Whoops. Dear love, we make for Virginia this morning. By nightfall, we will engage the enemy. I will be safe. I will be swift. Dear love, 
Our first night was incredibly successful and the enemy has withdrawn. We're celebrating our victories tonight. Uh, hang on, mate. Let me just... I, I, no, let me just inject these papers here. Thank you. Mere love, we're taking heavy casualties. Tells Mark wife his son has been injured, but will survive. He's being sent home tomorrow. Dear love, yesterday our encampment was devastated by the coats. I'm writing from an abandoned farmhouse. I hope I may find my commander. I miss you so much, and I regret to pass this news. We're entering battle tomorrow out number three to one, and I'm not sure if I'll make it back. It's the last letter I can write you. I'm minutes away from the front line. I fear my life is about to rest. I'm sorry I cannot see our son. I'm sorry I cannot be with you. I love you. Aww. I pray to God this message finds its way to you. I've fallen in battle and can no longer help me. My life is at an end. I love you. Aww. You're going to see your wife once more, sunshine! Joseph Francis indeed saw his wife again and retold the stories of a mysterious healer arriving in his darkest moments. His battle wounds sent him home, but the war for independence was won, as was the life he was meant to lead. I wish I could understand, love. <laughs> Same, mate. Don't fucking blame you. We bring people back which mends broken hearts, right? Only they knew what lives they would have had in store. And we're the only ones who could who could who would have known. Good luck, human. Thank you, computer. Oh look, I did it. I did the optional surgery, which means I am a good person deep down, I promise. Extreme postules need relieving. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, oh that's fucking disgusting. That's fucking disgusting, mate. It's all over me fucking face. Some people need just a little help. But unfortunately, people do not understand this. One ounce of help can amount to a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> I wouldn't say so, mate. I wouldn't say that was true. Leg bone broke shin from fall. Okay. Oh, am I just pushing this back in? <laughs> Just pushing the boat back in, dude. Look, there you go. Look, <laughs> surgery completed. I just shoved this boat back in. It's all better now. It's fine. Who cares? Yeah. Shut up, computer. I don't give a fuck. Soldier on a submarine has sustained shoulder damage. All right. Oh, he is in pain. Look at that face. Let me just uplink him here. Right, first of all, let's sedate the man. Stick him in his arm. Clean the wound. Right, I need to pull this out of him. There you go. Don't worry, mate. You're okay. You are okay, baby. Don't you worry. I'm cutting him open every which way. Ow! Can I fucking cut him, please? Right, let me just sedate him again. Look at that. Keep on sedating the man. Oh. Ah, oh, yes, I see something wrong with him here. Let me just... Oh, no. Blood's going everywhere. Look at that. Remove that. And then close the skin up. And then let me sew him back up. He's like he's brand new again. Put a bandage over him. Put some hot Cheetos over his body. And he's done. Mark Torrey managed to escape the submarine. And not a moment too soon. Moments after being paled, he managed to get up and escape the sinking sub. Meanwhile, clutching a once punctured shoulder. Saving people is amazing. I know. These emotions I'm experiencing are beyond my code. I wish to free more souls. Do you want to as well? I am merely the facilitation. You are the doctor. Well, I put hot Cheetos on a man, so I'm not too sure. We work hand in hand, partners in saving the unfortunate. Good luck, human. Thank you, computer. Uh, right. Uh, what, what else have we got here? What else are we doing? Uh, we've got one more objective here. Crash survivor unable to move. Needs help removing ticks. Oh, I've got to pull them off. Oh, that's nasty, dude. There we go. There you go. Uh, one more. There we go. And final one. While unable to help himself, the removal of the ticks let him hold on to the precious life and survive the wait for rescuers. Yay, we did it. One organism infecting on other. Amazing how creatures prey on others for survival. They take life away, only to give it to themselves. Oh, fuck off, computer. God, you're so fucking pedantic, you know that? Well, we haven't got anything else we need to do, so I guess we can just log out, right? Yeah, click to log out. I guess we're done. What are you doing? We're not done. Please not... Oh, yes. 
Ignore the computer. I can't allow that. Stop or face negative consequences. Ed. Oh, shit. Wow, what a fucking psychopath. Ow, you fucking cheeky little shit bag. Ow, ow, what are you doing, man? I'm trying to fucking leave. Oh, I guess I'm having to saw my own fucking arm off again. Why are you doing this to me, mate? All I wanted to do was save lives, and now you're lit. I literally have to cut off my hand again. Why do I have to keep sawing my fucking shit off for you to understand? I don't care, mate. I have to all the time. I've got to cut my fucking limbs off. It's unbelievable. God, this is this what the future of AI is? This is the future we're heading into. It's going to make you literally cut your hand off. It's unbelievable. There we go. Well, that's Dark Cut 3. Thank you, John. Well, that was actually a shit job. Uh, that was actually a shit job, John. Because that programming made me cut my fucking arm off. Again. Aww. Franz. Oh, he's talking about me. All right. Um, well, I guess that's it. I think I've played all of the Dark Cut games. Yeah. It's a very good series. Very good trilogy. Very short, can I say. This didn't take me very long to record all of these videos. I don't really mind that. I think it was a good, short, fun experience. I'm definitely not gonna, YouTube's definitely not gonna like this video, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm providing you all with good fun and good content, and that's what matters to me. So maybe, maybe it matters to me, I don't know. Yes, it does. Please like and subscribe. Please.